Hi guys, and welcome back to another video of um, GZ Doom Builder. This time we're in Slade, um, which is used for editing certain things that you can't do in GZ Doom Builder. And today I'm going to be covering map info, as you can see we've got here. Now, um, when you create a map and you go into Slade, it won't. You'll notice it won't have a map info. All you need to do is just head up here to this little E where it says new entry, click it, type in map info, all in caps or even not because it just, you know, it automatically turns it into caps like this. Head into text and to just sort of start off just type in clear skills and then press save, yeah, and click off and go back on. You'll see it's blue and it will stay as text from then on. You'll be able to edit it. Now what I'm going to do is I have a pre-made um, map info here which I've literally just sat down and made and I'm going to just go over what each thing does and you know why you should need it. Um, <coughs> but before I do any of that I'm just going to go over um, why you should probably want to edit map info and I'd say the reason you'd want to edit map info is so you can add custom skills, you can make things easier and harder and you can just divi divine, def <laughs> define um, certain parts of your map that you may want to you know, change that you can't do in GZ Doom Builder or that you can do better in Slade or even add things in that doesn't come with default Doom this is all the glory of map info um, this also allows you to um, include uh, what's it <sighs> intermission screens um, which I will I haven't put in yet but I will show you how to include now well, first things first we've got clear skills now it's pretty self explanatory all this does is it just clears all the skill settings so you know nightmare ultra violence hurt me plenty I'm too young to die it r just completely removes any of those options um, and now skill easy this just defines a skill so you can refer to it in other scripts and now under skill easy we've got name equals easy now this this part the name is actually what makes it come up as easy so if I set this as you know um, let's just say Bob as just a random you know example and save it I'll just head into the Devil Sleeps folder and grab this and run it in Doom 2. Dis despite the fact that this skill here says easy, oh, wasn't meant to open GZ Doom Builder. Despite, despite the fact that this says easy, because this says Bob here, the actual name definition. Um, if we go to new game, it now says Bob where easy should be, and you know, that's not what we want. So, it doesn't matter what you call this, this is just how you're going to refer to the actual skill itself in other scripts. So say if I made a script um, defining a character, or a decoration script, and I wanted, refer wanted to refer to the skill easy to say, you know, maybe the character looks like this in easy mode, so if skill equals easy or whatever. So say if I just set this to easy, I'd put if skill equals easy. You can use caps or no caps. It's up to you, whichever you find easier. But as long as this is how you, if is actually what you want the skill to be called, that's alright. Now the monster health, this just defines how much the monster's health is multiplied by, so in this case it's 1, so it's, you know, the default health. It's pretty self-explanatory. The ammo factor is the same as monster health, but for ammo, so in this case, ammo is multiplied, multiplied by 2. Aggressiveness is um, the monster's aggressiveness, so how quickly they'll shoot at you, and, you know, how aggressively they'll attack. So say if you play on easy mode and you've got um, just a regular um, former human, they shoot and then they'll walk in a different direction for a couple of seconds, turn and shoot again. Say their aggressiveness is higher, they'll maybe shoot, wait, shoot, 
then move, shoot, wait, shoot, then move. So it's just how aggressive they are. The spawn filter is how many monsters actually spawn. So if you're in GZ Doom Builder, let's actually hop into GZ Doom Builder for this example. And open map 01. Yeah. Okay. So if we just add in, say, right, so we've got four difficulties, let's add four monsters. And they can all be the same. So let's add a former a former human, just you know. We'll set this to easy. Right, now we've got that. We'll set this one to medium. Set this one to hard. And set this one to medium hard. This one to uh, medium hard and easy. This one to uh, medium and easy. Alright, so we've got all the different variants of spawns for each monster we can have. So we know that there's going to be at least three enemies on each difficulty, I believe. So if we just save that, this means we're going to have to restart Slade, but that's okay. Close. Yes. Okay, save. Yes. Alright. Now let's save this again. Okay, so we're back in Slade. Um, if we go back into Map Info... Right, so now... Um, as you saw in GZ Doom Builder here, um, this is set to easy, this is set to medium, this is set to hard, this is set to medium and hard, this is set to medium and easy, and this is set to all three. So basically that means if you play on, um, if you lo launch on easy difficulty here with a spawn filter on easy, um, this one will appear that's set to only spawn on easy, this one will appear and this one will appear. If you set on medium, this one, this one, this one will appear and hard, this one, this one and this one will appear. So that's what spawn filter does and I will demonstrate that later. I'll just make changes. Close GZ Doom Builder there. Um, damage factor just determines how much they can, how much damage they deal to you. So this is times by 0 0.25. So damage is actually slightly reduced. The key is set to one. So that means if I go into, if I launch into Doom and go into the difficulty selection menu and press one. It will choose easy if I press 2, medium, 3 will be hard, and 4 is extreme. Um, ACS return. Is literally just the... ACS value returned by sorry the value returned by the ACS game skill command and um, what the game skill command is is zero sets the skill as very easy one sets it as easy two normal three hard and four is very hard so zero is equivalent to I'm too young to die one is hey not too rough two is hurt me plenty three is ultra violence from four is the equivalent of nightmare basically so down here on extreme if i set that to four that would set that would make that equivalent to nightmare this would then become the equivalent to hard and this would become the equivalent to easy this is the equivalent of very easy this is the equivalent of easy now, it's my bad, I mix them up a bit. So zero is very easy, basically. Now, um, what easy boss brain does is this makes the boss eye, i.e. the um, icon of sin that shoots out the spawn um, 
the spawn blocks, it makes it shoot a decreased rate, so it doesn't spawn as many en enemies as quickly. Um, and text color is pretty self-explanatory, you just change the color of the text. Um, and that's more or less it. The only other thing I haven't shown you in regards to skills is must confirm, which I can quickly do and do and do a demonstration of. If I launch into this, go new game and hit extreme, it just asks you if you're sure you want to select this difficulty. You hit yes, and as you see here, all these three enemies do spawn. They have more health and you take more damage. And if I start a new game again and just go into extreme quickly, first I'm going to turn down the sound because you don't need it. And just watch how often they shoot. See, they shoot quite regularly, albeit they miss. Um, and the other difficulty is they've all got the same aggressive rate, so these guys will shoot less. If you notice, they move around a lot more before they actually shoot at you. And that's basically what that does. They also do a lot less damage. Now, in regards to actual actually defining the map, this part just states that it is a map that you're defining, and this just states which number the map is, and then this will set the name of the map, so you can set this to, again, Bob or Easy, and it will call the map Easy on the um, map, if you go into, well, into the map. I'll set this back to level zero 01. This is the level number, self-explanatory. This is which skybox text you're going to use. This sets which the next map is going to be. This defines the sky one texture as as the sky one texture, and this is the scroll speed. So I could actually set this to sky two and make sky one the same as sky two. All that, all that mumbo jumbo. <laughs> uh, this is the cluster definition. So this is basically episodes for Doom one which you don't need unless your game if you, unless you want your game to be able to run from doom one so this cluster sets under episode one so episode two three and four I set it back to one this is the part time so basically on the intermission screen when you complete the level it has little part time this just sets it to 30 seconds at the end of the map you can set it to zero or you can just not have it in there which will automatically set to zero. The suck time is the time in hours your character is given to complete the map before the intermission screen says that your time is bad or it sucks. So if you take an hour to complete the um, level on the intermission screen it will basically say that your time sucked. If you set to two, three, four, it will take that many hours. And finally the music just sets the music, so D underscore running is the music from map 01. And that is map info. Um, I know I sort of rushed it a little bit there. I wanted to get through it, and it's not, you don't need to explain it too much. It's quite simple to get the hang of once you learn it. There is always a Zedin wiki. I'll leave um, links to each individual part. I'll leave a link to. Um, map definition, skill definition, and game skill. So that's the ACS return thing in the description of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If if I rushed it too much or there's more you want to know, you can always tell me in the comments. I'm always happy to either redo the video in more detail or even, you know, just upload a second part to the video if you don't want you know, if you don't want them to redo the whole video. Um, always feel free to suggest more things for me in the description. You know, I'll, if you want me to make certain games, if you want me to record, not make games, if you want me to record certain games, 
you know, feel free to tell me. I'll happily get around to doing it if I own the game. At the moment, I can't really buy any new games. Um, so, you know, I can't afford them. But when I can, I will happily buy some new games to play for you guys. I will leave a list in this description of my Steam games, so if you guys do want to recommend games to me, you know, you can tell me you can sort of have a look at the list and you can pick out one that you want me to play through and I will do it happily suggest um, any more tutorials you want me to do on GZ Doom Builder or even other games although I'm going to sort of stick I'm going to stay away from 3D games for a bit because I'm not very good at 3D games you know making the maps is a, is a whole other question when it comes to making 3D games compared to 2.5D games like Doom where you can just drag and draw lines it's a whole other question, it's a whole other level of difficult and I can't personally do it yet but say if you want me to make Quake tutorials or other games that are similar to Doom, I'll do it I'm quite happy to um, that's more or less it, if you like this video be sure to leave a like, show your support you know, share it with your friends if there are any other friends that will find this kind of thing useful um, that will do that for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.